and welcome to your gold market update for the 24th of may 2022 with me mike smith senior analyst at gold markets we had a broad-based rally on wall street as key technical support levels were honored again for now we saw banks and tech outperform no specific reason apart from that technical bounce that we saw however us futures are weak in early asian trading we've undoubtedly got market uncertainty about the sustainability of the latest move looking at recent history and Asian indices aren't following that US lead, nor reacted positively to Biden floating the idea of reduced trade tariffs for China. Very mixed in early trading and very choppy. ASX is holding on to neutral at this stage. European futures are pointing to a higher open later on this afternoon at this point. US dollar index is trading around monthly lows on that equity strength. And gold is holding around 1850. Didn't really move very much despite USD weakness. All continues to hold around the top of the range, trading around 113 on the Brent CFD contract. Copper is trading at three week highs, and the VIX hasn't moved either. Again, reinforcing that idea of market uncertainty around that 28 level, which is still obviously historically high. In the crypto space, Bitcoin remains choppy, but looks settled within that range. It, it's slightly under the 30,000 level. 28,000 is the level to watch should we get some more selling later. What will be looked at today is we've got global PMI, both services and manufacturing data released throughout the day. Markets will watch for signs of the degree of economic slowdown that everybody seems to have had on their radar recently. And in Australia, we're still waiting for the final results to come across the wires regarding the election. We're still unclear about whether we're going to have a majority or a minority government at this stage. Let's have a look at a couple of charts that have caught our eye. We're going to start with a lithium borax producer, Alchem, ticket code AKE. You can see there we've had a very nice move since we broke $12 up towards that resistance at 13.56. You can see we've not closed above this level before. This does represent all-time high. So that push this morning back up to that level is interesting. A close above it might suggest a change in sentiment towards this. Who have produced good reports in recent times and so fundamentally could be strong going forward. On the FX front, the Euro Aussie is interesting possibly a little bit of Aussie weakness on the lack of certainty about the election result. We have been trading in a range of around about 250 pips you can see there we bounced fairly significantly off this 149.62 level and moved back over the critical 150 level so currently trading at the high of the last week or so that you see there suggests that we could be up for a move back up to 152 at least uh, if we look on an hourly chart you can see how choppy this has been just take it out a little bit further and you can see that we are testing levels that look interesting at 150.78. Uh, there could be a 25 pip move or so up to test 151. And if we break that level, I think that's when we might see a bigger push up towards that 152 level. So one to watch throughout the day to see if we get any momentum through this level that's marked on the chart. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.